911 response and issues with leadership. Those were the hot button issues tonight during the Tyler Mountain Volunteer Fire Department's board meeting. It's been a busy week for them. This comes after seven firefighters resigned unexpectedly Monday night. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has been following this story. He joins us tonight with more. There was a crowd of people here for this meeting as the Tyler Mountain Volunteer Fire Department board was discussing concerns that were brought up after seven firefighters staged a walkout on Monday. Now, during the meeting, the only action made by the board was approving three probationary firefighters. They also say they received at least eight new applicants since those seven firefighters resigned earlier this week. Now, when it came to the public comment section of the meeting, several community members voiced concerns regarding relationships among the board members. You cannot have a fair vote. You can have a fair view. If there's not people up there that can give a difference and give an opinion on what this community needs, what this fire department needs. Timothy Ickes, one of the firefighters who resigned on Monday, also spoke during the meeting, and he tells me he and the other six volunteers want to come back and serve their community again. But a change in leadership has to happen before that. We don't have confidence that the board's going to back us up. They're going to supply the stuff we need. I want the complete board eliminated. I want it absolved. I want the chief gone. I want the assistant chief gone. You've got a father-son relationship that doesn't work. Some members of the community also requested a vote of no confidence, claiming they believe the board members are unfit to run the fire department and should be replaced. However, board members say their current bylaws are not set up for that to happen. A board members tell me that they will be discussing possibly changing the bylaws in the future. So far, no decisions have been made, but we'll continue to bring you updates as we know more. For now, reporting in Cross Lanes, I'm Lane Ball for 13 News. All right, Lane, thank you.